we're in Corey Keeley's lovely kitchen. Now we're making, I don't, I'm not even sure what if these would be dinner or lunch or what they are, but they well, smell delicious. <laughs> they're, they're versatile. Uh, I made these last night. They're called Indian beef and veggie patty. Okay. And what I like about them is it's that already... using mashed potatoes, about two cups of mashed potatoes and about half a pound of ground beef. So I always make tons and tons of mashed potatoes when I make them because we love them as leftovers. But if you keep two cups of them, you can make these. And basically what you're doing is taking ground beef or ground veal or ground lamb, any mm -hmm. of your favorite. Or you could use a vegetarian and put beans in too. Okay. So yeah, it's very versatile. But tossing that together with all kinds of delicious vegetables, and it's a great filler for, you can make it into like a burger situation. Or last night, I'm gonna make it for you, okay. my kids, because sometimes I'm not sure if they're gonna eat the stuff I'm making them, <laughs> but they love these. And okay. I did a little twist. So we'll get started, because there's, there's a lot of ingredients, and as you said, all very basic ingredients though. Um, so it's worth the while. Don't be intimidated by the number of ingredients. It's mostly okay. just vegetables and they're separate. So they look like a lot. So what we're doing is we're taking one carrot that we shredded. You could use, see, if you had that giant bag of shredded carrots I was yes. talking about, you would just be tossing these in. And, but I did use my little shredder. Okay. So I'm putting that in. And then we're taking about a cup and a half of spinach. Do you want me to stir? That I've just diced up. Yeah, sure. You could also throw in arugula. You could leave it out. And then we're putting in some green onions, about four green onions that you're just thinly slicing. And then that commercial that we all love, <laughs> the slap chop. How fun is that? I have, I've had it forever, but it's not a slap chop, it's a xylus, but it does the same to thing. Try the slap chop. It's good. And it's really Look good for things that you don't want to touch too much, like jalapeno peppers mm -hmm. and garlic. So I, I put, made that mistake. Touch you, it and then you touch you your burn. eye and oh, game over. It hurts so much. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> Crazy. And then again, our corn that we're seeing a lot okay. of right now. I'm going to put the Cinderella corn in. Just okay. about one cup. If you have frozen corn, toss it in. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And so right now when the corn is so, so delicious, what I like to do is just cook up a ton of it. Mm -hmm. Do this. Take all the kernels off um, after you've cooked it. Put it in the freezer on a tray and then freeze it. Yeah. And so you've got the fresh, you're preserving the flavor by doing that. If you I wait until your year. corn gets kind of dried out, it's too late. The flavor's already gone. So do it when it's fresh. And then in the winter, you have your nice Ontario corn. Yeah. Yeah. We do that with everything. I with do dairy. that too. Yeah, it's good. So to bring this, to pull it together, the potatoes will absorb the liquid. We're going to put in one egg. Okay. And then about a quarter cup or more of just dry breadcrumbs. Those are panko, but you could use whatever you have. Okay. Okay. And so you're going to get your fingers dirty here. I'll do it. And while I'm doing that, you can make up, I'll talk about what we're doing. Okay. Okay. So I made you a tortilla. Okay. So what we're going to do though, is use your hands and because it won't work. So you need to get in and make a patty. So this makes about 12 patties and you just squeeze it together. And then you're going to put it on a baking tray or on a, on a, um, in a frying pan. You can see it does come together really nicely. Like a burger. Yeah, and so if you want to grab one of those that I've cooked off there, now everything's pre-cooked, so you're not really worried about it, right? right? Except for the egg a little bit, so you want to get that cooked. So put that on. I made these for okay. my kids last night, because I thought, well, we'll just well, see if they'll eat it. Up or just yeah, I mashed it up, and then I put some salsa on it, Ooh. and rolled it up, and then I baked I it in that. the oven. Not a big deal. Easy, easy, easy. Baked just it in the oven. Just almost toast it, yeah. basically, in the oven? It was add them eight, two and a half halves, so one and a half of these, and then just roll it up. It's so yummy. And to change the flavor of this, if you don't like the ground cumin and yep. the turmeric, you could add chili powder instead and just make it like a Tex-Mex theme entirely and have a different alternative. But you're getting all those vegetables mixed in along with garlic and all the goodness. Yeah, yummy. It's fantastic. I'll keep making, yeah. And easy, and Adam this morning, he's like, can I have that sandwich in my lunch? I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I There's, love it. The flavors are so much. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You can freeze them. Oh, so, can you? Yeah. The, you the can, patties. Yeah, cook them, freeze them, and then pull them out, put them in the microwave. So last minute lunch ideas. It's Jeez. something a little bit different, but just, you know, gives you some ideas. You want to get a look here, Pete, take a look right in the, in the wrap there. Just delicious. You like that? Oh yeah, I'm going to finish it so up. So this is another Foodland recipe. And oh, then I'm going to tell you about my stuff later, eh? Okay, okay, okay sounds yeah. good. <laughs> cookies, we're going to take cookies. a quick break, and we're st starting to get a little full with all this food, but it's so delicious, I just can't stop eating it. And I know, Angie, that you wanted to be here, but I'm so thankful <laughs> that it gets to be me. Yes, I bet you are. Well, you know what? We've got some food back here, too, so I'm not doing so bad. We